What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and welcome to another episode of my Buy It and Try It series, where I show you some scrappy, fun, papery, crafty stuffs, and then I create a page with it. So first up, I have a few random bits and pieces that I've got recently, um, a lot from Pink Fresh. I also got that little star stencil because if you have watched many of my videos, you know I'm a sucker for a star stencil. And I thought it was about time that I had a, a nice small one. I've got some sun-kissed letters from Coco Vanilla. I've been waiting for these and I'm so excited to have got them. And also a few bits and pieces from the, what collection is that from Pink Fresh? Happy something. Oh, I just hit it. But from one of the recent um, Pink Fresh collections. And then this is from a different one called Some Days. And I I really love the Pink Fresh uh, stickers. They're probably one of my favorites at the moment, the 6x12 sets. Sometimes their papers are a little tricky for me to use because they've got so many busy, gorgeous patterns on them. Uh, but I'm challenging myself to try and make them work with how I scrapbook. With this one, there was a lot of the B sides that I really, really loved. Um, and I'm also a sucker for a, a cut apart as well. So I really love to see hauls. Like I watch craft hauls a whole lot. It's probably one of the most, probably the category of crafty videos that I watch the most. Uh, and so I always love to watch to see what people buy because here in Australia, we don't often get to see everything that's available. But I always wonder if people use them or how they use them, uh, especially if they're items that maybe I find a bit tricky to use or it's out of my comfort zone or it's a brand that I haven't tried before. So I hope these videos can give you some ideas um, of how to use some of your new crafty stash. So these photos uh, were taken at the very, very start of 2020 while we could still see people. And I got to see my beautiful friend, Lauren, who if you follow her on uh, YouTube, you'll, she'll be a familiar face to you. I'll pop her a link to her channel in the description below. Um, but she does gorgeous, gorgeous scrapbooking uh, process videos over there. And she got to meet baby Violet, uh, which is really exciting. She was the first of my scrappy pals to meet her, I think. Yeah, she would have been, yeah, the first of my, my scrappy crew um, to meet little Shmai. And we just had a beautiful time at the beach. And it, it just makes me miss, makes me miss pre-March 2020. <laughs> it's the best way to put it. Uh, right now, as I'm recording this, uh, I, we're in lockdown where we are. And so we're not seeing anyone. We're not doing anything. Only one person from each household can go to the shops per day. All non-essential shops are closed, you know, clothing, department stores, everything. Everything's closed. Um, so it's nice that even though I can't see my friends in person at the moment. I can still pretend that I'm with them by scrapbooking their faces <laughs> in a non-creepy. Well, that sounded really creepy. That came out wrong. But um, I miss my scrappy friends. So it's nice that I can still feel like I'm with them. That's still creepy. Let's move on, Adele. All right, so this paper, um, it reminded me of Lauren because she's such a beautiful and bubbly and just the kindest, hardest person that I've ever met. And so I saw this and I thought immediately of these photos. Uh, and so I am sticking them down in a bit of a format that I'm not used to. Uh, going with a diagonal four by six vertical photo, a little layout here. And I have to admit, it really stumped me with where on earth to put my title. And I was a little bit worried that I'd completely stuffed it at this point um, because usually usually when I stick my photos down in my head I pre-plan even if I don't know what the title is or how long the title is going to be I kind of pre-plan where I'm going to plonk it so that I know where to avoid putting my photos um, but I did not do that this time and it's, that's okay to uh, change things up a little bit it's, it's semi-stressful in the moment but it still worked out anyway and because this background paper had these two giant floral clusters on it already and I was scrapping three photos um, that were all four by six size 
there wasn't a whole lot of option for where to stick my photos in the first place. Uh, if I had printed these photos as a three by four, I think it probably would have been easier to have a bit more, you know, space and um, a bit more of a chance to manip manipulate where my title um, could have gone. You can read it over the top of those flowers. On camera, it's a little bit tricky, but in person, you can really see the um, the depth of the title because it's printed on that beautiful gold glittery foam and it's got lots of 3D-ness to it. So I'm going through this sticker little sheet and I didn't realise when I had picked it for this bite and try it because it was only new to my stash that there was a lot of not negative things but uh, this collection came out during you know the things that have been going on around the world and so there's a lot of you know here's to better days think on the positive side um, you know that type of thing taking deep breaths um, you know not negative things but a lot of I guess phrases that you would use when you're trying to cope through something and at this time life was shiny life was bright we had no worries. Our bushfire season had just, well, we, you know, let's be real. We always have worries, but there were no humongous catastrophic worries going on in my little bubble of a life. Um, the bushfire season had kind of ended and the major fires that we'd been dealing with at the end of 2019 were almost all out, I think, at this point. And um, little did we know what was ahead of us, but... A lot of the stickers I couldn't use for this particular page because, you know, I didn't want to, um, yeah, I didn't want to use such negative things on a nice page. Ooh, here's a little sneak peek, Pips. So, Pips, I said Pips instead of Pips. Uh, this is actually my favourite current journal at the moment, which is a journal that you peeps haven't seen over here on YouTube. Uh, this is called my Jamie journal because it's made out of a Jamie Oliver cookbook and it has been a journal that I've been working in over on Patreon for the last probably year, year, year and a half maybe. And I just finished it um, last week as I'm recording this voiceover. And it has been it has been a fun adventure and it's hands down my favorite journal I've ever, ever created. Um, and I've been using it like a use it up journal. If you don't know what a use it up journal is, I talk about it lots on my um, Let's Get Inky YouTube channel. But um, it's just been so fun to do. And so whenever I use a stencil or I get some paint out, I always slap some in my Jamie journal. So it gives me a head start um, for a journal page on another day. So while I'm sticking down these butterflies, oh, I'm shuddering a little bit because butterflies, but we're going through it. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more of my Jamie journal, um, the, all of the process videos are over on um, Patreon for that. And the reason why I am braving my fear of butterflies uh, and using them on this page is that Lauren uses a lot of butterflies in her work and they always remind me of her because she uses them so beautifully. And whenever, the only the only few times I've looked at a butterfly and thought, oh, that's actually pretty, is on one of her layouts. So thank you, Lauren, for giving me, giving me a tiny glimmer of hope that there's um, there's some beauty in butterflies if you're new to this video and you're like, what is this crazy Australian girl talking about butterflies in such a horrible way? Uh, I have a severe butterfly and moth phobia. Uh, you know how people joke and they're like, oh, I'm scared of this. No, I am terrified of butterflies and moths. And I know there's some others out there like me. If you are, let me know in the comments that I'm not alone. Um, but they terrify me. I have nightmares about them. And so usually, I won't lie, the butterflies fly into my little recycling bin <laughs> in my scrappy space, or I de-stash them if I'm with some friends, uh, or recently I gave some to Archie and he loved them, um, which is just yet another reason as to how different he is to, to me, along with his extroverted, outdoor-loving self. Um, but yeah, so I know now I can give my butterflies to Arch and they'll go to a better home um, than in my stash. Anyway, peeps, let's get back on track. I stuck the butterflies down and I gave them a little bit of 3D-ness. I oomphed up their wings with some craft foam and then slightly folded them in half and stuck the, their, their spine. Oh, butterfly spine. That just makes me shudder. 
Do butterflies have spines? Oh boy, we're going too deep into this now. I'm going to have nightmares about butterfly spines. Uh, I stuck its, the middle of the butterfly down with glue so that its wings were raised up. And then I'm coming in with some of the little enamel dots um, that I had recently bought in this little bite and try it haul as well. And I've fallen back in love with enamel dots. They're just, they're just the little mwah, chef's kiss to just sprinkle a little bit of extra love on a layout. Um, and yeah, I'm back in the enamel dot game. If you're an OG inklet, you will remember how obsessed I was with enamel dots many years ago. Actually, here's a question for you. Let me know in the comments, when did you become an inklet? Have you been following me pre-Archie, pre-Violet, just last week, today? Um, I'd love to know because I'm always interested as to see how, because my style has changed a bit, um, especially layouts. And I'd love to know how long you've been on this roller coaster tangenty adventure with me for. Thanks for joining today, peeps. Don't forget to um, have a look at Lauren's channel. She doesn't know I'm doing this video, but have a look at Lauren's channel if you love scrappy goodness. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. Bye.